what do you see happening in the not too distant future? Yeah, I mean, if you just look at the history of how the sales and marketing community has ruined stuff, uh, you could probably guess what's happening. And so what I mean by that is over my left shoulder here for anybody looking, that's, uh, I, and I went, I drove a long way to get that. It's a 1908 cathedral style telephone. And I, I use it as, and by the way, it's got original wiring in it. It rings like the thing is so cool. Um, but I use it kind of a, as a reminder around how sales and marketers ruin everything. Meaning Alexander Graham Bell in 1876, he created the greatest technology revolution for the sales world of all time when he made the first phone call, right? Now it took until the 1910s, the telephone was actually being used in like outbounding, B2C, B2B type cold calling, that kind of stuff. The first examples I found in 1912 and 1914 of that, but by the 1920s and 30s, we had ruined it, yeah. right? Like the telephone was this great thing where I didn't even have to put shoes on. I could start selling, I could stay right here. How efficient, how amazing. And then we start using it for scale and evil instead of good. And now there's resistance built up, right? Dr. Shirley Jackson in the 1960s created the technology that led to caller ID. So we could see like, oh, unknown caller. I'm not answering that. No, nobody answers their home phone anymore or any unrecognized phones because sales and marketers ruined. Fast forward to the 1970s, right? Ray Tomlinson, 1971, sends out the first, you know, the first email. What an incredible gift to the sales and marketing world, right? Like, unbelievable. I could type something, hit send, and it shows up in their inbox instantly. How awesome. How long did it take us to ruin that? Right. Like, you know, 1975 was when a guy at DEC uh, first spammed. And, you know, by the, the 2000s, we needed, you know, here in the US, at least where I am, they had to create legislation in the Can Spam Act to prevent it. There was all kinds of technologies built to prevent it. You know, on the phone side, the do not call registry here in the US, which was designed because sales and marketers suck and ruin the phone, had 221 million telephone numbers on it in 2021, like Alexander Graham Bell would be rolling over in his grave if he knew that. I can, you could see it with LinkedIn, like LinkedIn, this incredible gift, we screw that up. Video, I started getting videos after video started showing its way into the sales and marketing world where some jerk face would send me a 30 second video, like a three minute video. And it would start with, like in the background would be my LinkedIn yeah. profile. And it would start with, hey you, you have a really impressive background. And like, it's a generic thing that they just did at scale. And I'm I like, I just recorded we're you a video. It again. No, it's you a didn't. long way of saying, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's exactly right. It's, it's nauseating. The, the prediction here is that we're already doing that with AI. Like you can see it. There's some people that are using it for good. I think there's incredible applications to use it for good. Just like you said, Paul, around doing your homework, doing research prepping for a client call or a client visit. I use it for that all the time and it saves me time. 